humanity. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat to make us recognize this common bound. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. We told you about that spooky situation in Las Vegas when a flash in the sky was captured on video. Right up there in the sky there. People in Las Vegas are wondering exactly what it is. Oh. They land in someone's backyard in Las Vegas. Hmm. Someone called 911 and said they... Las Vegas flash of light and boom has been a mystery for months with no one saying exactly what it was. you get a window seat on a plane uh you're gonna think of this next story and you're gonna think of the guest who is gonna talk about this next story michelle reyes was flying over new york city with her daughter and she was sitting by a window um when she did what a lot of us do we you know take pictures out the window nice video of the new york skyline it's an amazing view but what michelle did not expect to see was a cylinder shaped object zipping across her line of sight near LaGuardia Airport. Was it a bug inside the plane, maybe? An alien threat from outside this world. And yet, I ask you, is not an alien force already among us? Um, there are beings that is walking this earth and they are not human. I just came from Kroger's. I just got off of work. I want to go pick up a few items, y'all. I go to the bread aisle. Now, the bread aisle is super long. I'm at one end of the bread aisle. There's a guy that's about three, four foot away down in the bread aisle. He got a car. I got a car. He's looking at me. And you know how you can see out your peripheral that somebody's staring at you. He ain't just looking, but he's staring at me. I kind of look his way, he's still staring. I go ahead and I get my bread. I go back around the other way because I'm going to the international aisle to get some pasta and some other stuff. While I'm in the international aisle at one end, this guy comes around and he's at the top of the same aisle. I see him still looking at me. Now, mind you, there's a couple of things that I need to get out of that aisle. So the first part of the aisle, I grab what I need to grab, and I go about midway down. He's at the other end. So he's staring at me still. So I kind of look at him, and I go like, how do you give somebody that type of look? He's still staring. So I'm looking for what I'm looking for. I can't really find it because he's throwing me off because he keeps staring. Mind you, this man don't have nothing in his car. He's not even turned to look at any food. He's looking directly at me. By this time, I'm like, you know what? I'm not on it. I'm about to just stare him down. So I turn to look at him. Y'all, when I tell you, this man stared at me and his eyes turned black. Everything in his, his whole eyeball, not just the pupil, but the white part turned completely black. He looked, it said, black, and then he walked away. When I tell you I left that car sitting in that aisle, I didn't even buy nothing from Kroger's. I left out and I came home. There is stuff. There is beings that is walking in this earth, and they at the store. They at whatever. They look like us and everything else, but they are not human. Mm -hmm. I believe that our government is in possession of UAPs. Absolutely, based on interviewing uh, over 40 witnesses over four years. I have experienced advanced UAP firsthand, and I'm here to voice the concerns of more than 30 commercial air crew and military veterans who have confided their similar encounters with me. Uh, the controller told us that these objects uh, had been observed for over two weeks, coming down from over 80,000 feet, rapidly descending to 20,000 feet, hanging out for hours, and then going straight back up. For those who don't realize, above 80,000 feet is space. Were they, I guess, human or non-human biologics? Non-human, and that was the assessment of people uh, with direct knowledge on the program I talked to. 
I think this goes to that national security side, and you can go back through history of things showing up at certain areas and disabling our capabilities, which is disheartening. Parts of our government are aware of more about UAP than they let on, but excessive classification practices keep crucial information hidden. Since 2021, all UAP videos are classified as secret or above. This level of secrecy not only impedes our understanding, but fuels speculation and mistrust. It's beautiful, and I know it wasn't a planet, and it's definitely not a drone. I know what I saw, I know what I feel, I know what I seen through those binoculars and everything, so it's just on y'all, y'all. Just keep looking up. What could be more alien to the universal aspirations of our peoples than war and the threat of war?